What's up guys, Black Walls here and welcome to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager for the 5th stage of the Vuelta between Granada and Roquetas de Mar and I think you can enjoy this on point uh, Spanish accent but um, yeah, back we've got uh, another hilly stage to, uh, to take part in and we're gonna try something I haven't done too much in this game which is going to break away so I don't know with with who I will do, but for now let's just jump into the race and see what we can do. All right, we're on the line for this stage of the Vuelta. We've got Bilbao on a plus one, so that's all good uh, in the case of a sprint finish. Now, uh, but we, as I said in the intro, we're going to send someone in the breakaway. Um, don't know who yet. I was thinking about sending maybe Miguel Mar Lopez, but with these stats, there's no way I'm doing this. Um, I think I might send Android Zeitz. You know what? Yeah, I think I will do. I think I'll do so. I'm gonna send Android Zeitz in the breakaway. Um, he's not gonna be very, very useful for me today. So yeah, I think it could be like a fun thing to do. They're gonna let me in the breakaway, obviously, because I mean I have nothing. Uh, GC wise, and we're gonna attack with Dario Cataldo as well. You know what? Why not? Why not? Why not have two guys in the breakaway? Bilbao will follow Omar Fraile, he'll follow David Vidala, and he'll follow Jan Hert, so that's fine for this. Uh, and you'll follow, yeah, you'll follow Miguel Mar Lopez, I don't really mind. Here, you're gonna relay at 60, Dario, you're gonna join soon and relay at 60. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stand the breakaway and try and get the win. Alright, uh, there's been a fall Miguel Mar Lopez, Jan Hert, and Omar Fraile, so we're gonna have obviously to pace back. Uh, which is not ideal because I would have liked not to do anything to be uh, to be fully honest. There's a withdrawal and that's Richard Carapaz for uh, Movistar Valverde losing a precious teammate in uh, in the incident. Peter Sagan has been is down as well, um, but the peloton did not pace. The peloton is waiting for our comeback. We've got Jan Hert still doing things now to get uh, to, to get back into the peloton. There we go. Omar oh, Friday. Miguel Lopez and Yanet back into the main group. Uh, we're gonna have to do the train again, but it's all fine. Why are Cataldo and Pace and Zeiss pacing 75? I do not know. We're gonna pace 55 because, like, why? Uh, and yeah, okay, it's fine. There's been another fall. Uh, the likes of Nasser Bueni, the likes of uh, Alexander and Monson. No, not again. No one really major Bagues once again I think like this guy has been all like has been, he's been more most of this time in the Vuelta out of the peloton than in the peloton uh, but never at the front which sadly is a bit bit shameful uh, but we've got Dario Cataldo and Andrew Zeitz still trying to get some gap in the breakaway the peloton not really uh, keen on letting us out despite not really pacing to be fully honest um, yeah, I think that's just how it is right now, and we're gonna like play the long game with the peloton. And the fact that I have a teammate up front is all good for uh, for Andre. Andre being obviously our leader in the breakaway. All right, entering the final climb of the day, uh, Miguel Angel Lopez is in the peloton, chilling. We've got Andre Zeitz here. Um, I'm gonna stay there and try and uh, be careful of uh, any attacks that could happen. Why is Sergio Pardier not wearing a shirt for the mountain jersey? Okay, that's extremely weird, but why not? Uh, we've got Andrew Zeitz pacing right now for uh, for us in the break. Behind, we're just having our, pe our riders at the front of the peloton, not doing anything. I, I really would like uh, the peloton to stay nice and chill in, uh, in this climb. For now, I'm not like creating any gaps. Uh, not even like, yeah, I am creating gaps, but it's, it was not really my aim. Uh, my aim is more like to just stay in this group, having a rhythm, uh, quite a chilly rhythm, but like a rhythm that I could take uh, take until the the summit. Miguel is struggling right now, but Jan Hert is on a really bad day apparently. Um, why am I pacing? 
Makes no sense. That's that's a bad move. Yaniat, uh, wait, Yaniat is gonna die, which isn't good. Miguel Andre Lopez is not in the best way ever, which is not good. Freddy and Bilbao are getting blocked, which is again not good. But two kilometers, uh, two kilometers to go. Still, the summit. Restrepo looking a bit dodgy as uh, Andre is still on a good thing. I need to drop them before the, uh, the, the sprint, otherwise I'm out. Okay, let's go. Attack from Adrian Zeitz at the summit of the climb. Uh, and now I guess it's just going to be like, do the descent quicker than the other guys. Uh, where's the peloton? We're two minutes behind. Peloton two minutes behind, so I think the win is here. The uh, thing is, it's quite like a slow, uh, well not a slow descent, but like not really technique and not very um, steep. So I can't really like gain sometimes on the likes of Reto Hollenstein, who seems to be pacing for Jonathan Restrepo. Already won one stage on this Volta, he could make maybe the, uh, he could maybe have a brace on, uh, on, on this year's Welter. But, um, yeah, we're gonna try and stay ahead, and it's a fall. Omar Freyle is down. Omar Freyle is down. That's definitely not good. Ah, uh, that really isn't good. Messed up completely our train, but he's coming back, which is a good thing. He's still like on his bike. That's reassuring. Andre died still here. Uh, has anyone been dropped for the GC? Uh. I mean, do I, do I pace? No, I don't. I don't pace. I think like Jack. H yeah, Jack H has been cut up in the incident. The uh, youth jersey has been cut up in the incident. Who else is down? Uh, Viviani. Adam. Adam Yates. Adam Yates is down, but he was very far behind. GC wise, Zacharin, very far. GC wise, Rohan Dennis, very far. Okay, no one close GC wise, but still quite a strong incident. Andre Zeiss, nine kilometers to go. 20 seconds ahead of the group behind it's still Jonathan Restrepo and Reto Ollenstein pacing Luis Andrel Mate not doing anything right now just staying in the wheels uh, can Omar Freddy come back? probably not 6.3 km kilometers sorry to go for Andre Dice come on Luis Andrel Mate now taking relays to try and catch the, uh, the Kazakh rider I can't make it to the end on this pace. If I stand this pace, I can't make it to the end. I think I, yeah, I think I bottled it. I think I bottled it. Uh, I need to like get some yellow back. Which we do. And Red Hollenstein maintaining the pace. And Red Hollenstein sprinting right now. He's launching the sprint. I can't follow. I literally cannot follow. I mean, I could, but I'm, I'm way too far behind now. The sprint has been launched in this group. Uh, yeah, I mean, Villela and I won't, won't change anything. The win is for Jonathan Restrepo, who makes it to Mate fourth, Reto Hollenstein, Andre Zeitz, uh, oh, sorry, Mate second, Hollenstein, Zeitz fourth, Shagan, Gatkowski, Benut, Bilbao, Izagira, and Pino. So we finish in the leads group with Peyo Bilbao, which is all good. Uh, Omar Freyle losing approximately two minutes. Uh, well, sorry, three minutes on the leaders. And uh, yet again, last place is for oh, this one for Rodriguez. And Howie Kudos is here. Gonçalves, that's a retirement, sadly, for the Portuguese rider of the uh, Catuxa Alpesin team. Uh, where is Bagues? Did Bagues already cross the line? No, he's here. Wow. Luis Mentius, not a good day. Uh, but yeah. Another win for Jonathan Restrepo makes it two for now on this world. Uh, sadly, we like couldn't do anything else with Andre Zeitz. I think maybe staying in the main group could have helped us. I don't know. And maybe attacking Galia in the mountains to get a bigger gap. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Let's see uh, the results of the stage. It's a. Uh, so yeah, Restrepo winning, 38 seconds is the gap between uh, the peloton and the winners. 
I mean, you've got all of what, uh, like everyone in the peloton. How is uh, Omar Fouillet losing 2 minutes 52, sit about 2.20 on, uh, on the leaders? GC wise, what does that mean? That means nothing for Bilbao, but Omar Fouillet goes from 6 to 14th. Uh, did anyone go apart from the Portuguese guy? Axel de Mont, Ben King, Jason Calves, Richard Carapaz had seen that, and Michael Stora. And uh, yeah. Okay, well that's it for this stage. I think next stage is the first sprint stage, which is going to be very, very like boring for us because our best sprints are probably using my Friday with 70. But yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, please make sure to leave a like down below. It would really help me out to uh, obviously subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for daily uploads, at least for the Vuelta. And um, yeah, as I said. Um, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, like the video, share the video with your friends. Uh, if you play PCM and like you'd like to play online with me, tell me in the comments, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, but yeah, I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye.